excited to get out there and get on our home field and kind of like, you know, defend our place. Um, we've been doing a lot of travel, and I think through all of that, we're really learning a ton and seeing some of these young players start to to gel and really come into their own. And so we're hoping that, you know, we can, like, show up and, and make our uh, – our university and our department proud tomorrow. And then I kind of asked the same question to the men. You've had a couple weeks off now. What's been the point of emphasis in practice this week leading into the home opener? Sure. For us, 100% um, personal responsibility. Um, we watched a lot of film last week and really did some pretty physically grueling stuff, you know, at practice last week. And um, a lot of it was game situation. So we're trying to make sure that we're pushing the physicality at the same time that we're also increasing IQ across the board. And uh, so we had a few really great days of practice last week, and I'm hoping that we can see that translate. Questions? The men said their priority was, you know, get a lot of work in and not kill each other. <laughs> you know, and is it almost like starting the season over? Okay, we've had some games, now we see what we need to work on and just kind of break it down. Um, I, would, I would love to hear what they think, but I, I'll say that we, we feel like it's really important to celebrate our effort and make sure that we're celebrating the progress that we do make. And so while, you know, losses happened and we're certainly not content with that, I think we also don't want to throw that out and start over because I think that we have gone through a lot of growth over the last month and that's something we want to make sure that our players feel and that's part of where their confidence down the road is going to come from. What have you guys learned from the first part? I don't know, it's almost like a little little taste of college lacrosse that you've gotten, and all of a sudden, let's go back to practice now. Um, for me, honestly, like pressure is a privilege. We say that all the time in practice, and truly, like it is. Like not everybody gets to do this. Not everybody gets to be a college athlete, and like it is a privilege. I'm here from the Midwest, and like. Every day, I just want to get better, and that's why I'm here. So I'm ready to compete every day, and like losses aren't going to stop that. They're just going to continue to make me like determined to win and prove myself. Yeah, I definitely think it's like the urgency that comes with like competing and gelling as a team. Because right away, like just having the two losses, it almost just like makes me want to work harder and like prove it to people that we can do it. And I think that also like like is really making our team work harder and compete together at practice. You guys went to the same high school, right? Yes. Yeah. You played for the same high school team? Yeah. Yes. It was like 10 minutes south of Minneapolis, but in Marietta or St. Paul, Marietta. Yeah. So yeah, how is, how is that dynamic kind of going back to Minnesota and then being high school teammates? I mean, has it been fun transitioning from high school to now and having that experience to go back home and play for a little bit? Yeah, it was nice to go back home, especially to see like family and friends there, but it's also nice like me having Kelsey here to have that piece of home here and like we know how each other work we know how we gel and like we have that chemistry so knowing that we can push each other to be our best is like really helpful and it helps us push our teammates as well I think it's nice having someone from home because she really holds me accountable for things like and if I ever have an issue I know exactly how she works she knows how I work we know each other play so it's really just nice to have someone that's like a constant like someone that has your back always I mean, I, I'm hoping that their uh, their contributions this season will kind of speak for themselves. They're super different, these two. We got a midfielder and a defender and uh, very different styles. You know, they do different things on the field. Um, but I've had nothing but great experiences with players from Pryor Lake. One of our junior captains this year, Raquel Ruby, is also from the same high school and has been – just fantastic for the last year and a half, you know. So I was super excited to continue that tradition, and I think the two of them have added uh, just a lot of, like that determination Lauren was talking about is very real. I mean, mm -hmm. if you come to practice, you will see that in what she's doing every day. Um, and then Kelsey, there's like a physicality to the way that she plays defense that I think has brought something really special to the team this year, and it's still developing, but it's certainly something that we didn't necessarily have before, so. So you guys had long break in between your first and second game, and then now going into tomorrow's game. Do you think that hurt you guys going 0 and 2, and you guys had those slow starts? Do you think it hurt to have those long breaks in between those games, or is it just one of those things that you have to battle? Uh, I don't think it, it hurt necessarily having those long breaks. Um, 
You know, I think that we have genuinely been going a day at a time. And so given a week to prepare or given two days, I don't necessarily think of it as like, well, that week is going to be too long and the two days won't be enough. We're just going a day at a time and trying to bring the relevant stuff to practice and, you know, make sure that we're, we're doing the appropriate training for what we need that day. Um, and and so I, I honestly don't really think of it as like the, the long break or the short break because if I'm doing my job right, they should be treating each day of practice this, with the same importance they're treating the game day, you know? February is just such a weird month to go with cross. I mean, you got teams who play five games, lose all those five games, or you know, get a game, get canceled. You know, you guys have to go two or three weeks without playing. Mm -hmm. Is that just something that, that you're just noticing, especially with the coach from your perspective? I mean, February is just an awkward month. And then you get into March and April. That's when the real season starts, where you can actually start to develop the team dynamic and actually go into those conference games with a, with a you know, similar strategy and, and similar playoff implications. Kind of. I mean, I think it depends on where your team starts in January. You know, when you've got a team that's this young and we've got freshmen that we know need to contribute, um, February is definitely awkward. I'm with you. <laughs> uh, the game cancellation was a huge wrench. I did not see that coming. And um, I honestly, I'm not going to hide it. I was really unhappy about it. And I think that that's part of the awkwardness because we didn't have a balance. and. We played two extremely strong teams that are full of upperclassmen right away. Um, and they've gone on and proved themselves. You know, Lindenwood is undefeated at this point. They had two huge wins down in Florida against Tampa and Florida Southern, mm -hmm. two top 10 teams, you know, and, and Concordia just played Regis to two goals in Florida recently. So we, we played two teams that are full of upperclassmen. Credit to them for putting together a great game. But I think those are the teams that tend to stand out in February, and that is not us. <laughs> and so we're certainly not defeated or disheartened by those losses. I think, um, yes, in terms of progress, it feels a little bit like up and down during February. But I still feel really confident in the fact that we're going to continue to grow and improve and learn. Um, and I have no doubt that given some more time and some more experience, like any, any team, any day. You know, and we've got a couple of top 10 teams still on our schedule, and we're not looking at that as something scary. I'm super excited to get a chance to do that again. I mean, what's, what's the biggest difference between high school or club and then coming to college? For me, it's like the speed of the game. So uh, moving a lot faster and everyone's kind of like their top players from their high school. So everybody like coming together, it just makes the level of competition a lot higher, which is something that's like a privilege again. Like it pushes each other to work harder and just keep going, like be determined to be the best. Um, I think it's definitely way faster and it's way more aggressive. Like she said on defense, like you can actually go out and put the pressure on. It's really fun. And also, like the mental like strength it takes to be a college athlete is a lot higher than high school because there like there is so much pressure on you every day. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely something I noticed when I got here. With that pressure, is there still confidence though? I mean, I know you guys play some really tough opponents right out of the gate, but it doesn't seem like you guys are disheartened at all. No, not at all. I think that we're definitely like like have to have our own self confidence that we're trying to build, and then we all like a big thing that we emphasize is like having each other's backs and like trying to like have that next play mentality and be confident in each other so that we can have the self-confidence. I think when we lose the self-confidence, that's when we really like are defeated. So making sure that maybe one day one of our teammates isn't having that self-confidence and then we're all there having each other's back, building that person up because maybe she just can't do it that day. But then she'll come out the next day and then she'll have my back when my confidence is down. And then what's one of the biggest areas that you guys have noticed the freshman class has improved from getting on campus in the fall to the first game to today? I give you one. <laughs> from, uh, <laughs> this freshman class, I would say from like August to literally today, so thinking about this week, I think the number one thing I have seen improve is self-discipline. I don't think it existed in August, and that is the nature of being a freshman and being 18 and going to school. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> but, you know, I, like we definitely had our fair share of learning in regards to discipline and especially self-discipline, which in my mind is 
is like doing the right thing when there's nobody watching you. There's no, you know, consequence from your coach. And I feel like I'm starting to see that self-discipline in these guys um, really show itself in the way that they're able to train and also just their attitudes. I mean, you've heard some of it, but that determination and sort of a refusal to be defeated and allow the reputation and the external stuff to affect how they feel about themselves. So self-discipline is the one I'd pick out. <laughs> Oh. Done playing lacrosse. Lacrosse is over. You're done coaching lacrosse. Yeah. Money's not an issue. Where would you go for spring break? I'd go to Australia because that's on my bucket list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It would have to be somewhere just warm and relaxing in my brain. I'm thinking like Fiji, you know, like somewhere that you're just outside all the time, eating good food. I think mine would be like somewhere in Europe. I don't know exactly where. I haven't really been outside the country too much, but I've always just wanted to go explore overseas. So definitely Europe. 